Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So guys, I'm just getting ready to do a week ahead reading and um, it's going to be a three card reading and this is going to be for the week of, yes, and I forget what day it is today. So um, just a sec. It's going to be for um, January 20th and the week ahead. So um, I'm shuffling the fairy tarot deck, but meanwhile, I hope you guys are doing great. Sometimes I just get so intent on doing the readings that I forget my manners and just um, wanted to say hi and thanks for being here, you guys, and hoping to be able to respond to some comments. Guys, say hi, let me know how you're doing and let me know how your week turns out. So this is gonna be a three card reading. And the first one is going to look at, it just says the advice on the card is me now. So we're gonna pull a card and interpret that for how you're doing as the week starts. So me now. So we've got the three of spring and I think this is a fantastic card. You know, we have the, the color purple just radiating through here. It's really like brilliant and happy. So the three of spring says on it, Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. So that's great advice for a Monday or as you're coming into a Monday is really like take time and, and lay the foundation for what it is that you're going to be doing. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So guys, for me personally, like I'm a tarot card reader, but I also have a full-time job so I can pay my bills. <laughs> so um like every morning when I sit down at my job, um, like I plan everything. I don't do anything without planning everything that I'm going to do. And then I leave room for, you know, the unexpected. You guys know that if you work for a living, things very rarely go to plan. But, you know, having sort of a basic outline and, uh, and refusing to be rushed can really, really um, save your sanity on some days, right? So let's see energies at play in the coming week. And the card we've pulled here is the Queen of Winter. This is just a fantastic card. It's just absolutely glorious. I love this card. So it says, um, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. If unmarried or divorced individuals. Well, that's kind of weird advice, isn't it? You know? unmarried or divorced individuals like I'm not even sure what that means you know how like if you're if you're watching how do you take that like when the advice comes through that okay you're gonna meet an unmarried or a, a divorced individual I mean that could be anywhere so the queen of winter is strong patient self-sufficient and funny so those are really great qualities, especially if you work in, like I think any job is high pressure. I don't really care what job you do. Um, you know, there's a lot of expectation on, on people um, to get a job done really well. And sometimes you're being underpaid in the bargain. So um, having those qualities, um, being funny, that can really help you through a lot of situations. Like I rely on my sense of humor quite frequently to get me through tough times. So letting go of people or things that no longer serve you, it's great advice, but it can be very difficult. Um, and it can feel like you're being ruthless, but sometimes it's in your own best interest. So let's see the third card is gonna have advice. So, and I forgot already, unbelievable. So this is the King of Summer. Um, so on the card, he's he is honorable, devoted, mature, and warm-hearted. I feel like I need to sneeze, so I might go on a quick pause. Yep. Oh boy. Anyway, so this is a romantic partner that you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart and getting involved in a cultured or creative um, endeavor. So you've got some pretty interesting advice for the week coming up. Um, you know, and now this unmarried or divorced individual comes, like it makes a little bit more sense because many of you could be single and you could be meeting somebody that is unmarried or they're divorced and they're coming in and they could be that partner that you trust. So um, the basic theme for your week coming up ahead is make sure you set the ground for, groundwork for your success. Write things down, make a list, like don't let, your get, don't let yourself get swept up, you know, in advance of things happening take control um, even if things are really hectic and I've worked at really really busy jobs too you guys you know um, 
you know, for instance, I was a server for a long time. So if you guys are in the hospitality or service industry, you can slow that down too. You can really control what you're doing. Um, the least you can do is control your emotions about it. Like I, I used to work with people, um, they would get so mad, uh, you know, and slamming things. And I was like, oh man, you know, what are you doing? But anyway, so like it, keep a cool and calm head, use your sense of humor. You can expect to bump into some really fun and interesting people. And you might get asked out to an event that you might not necessarily consider. Um, so go ahead and have fun. And you have a lot of really high powered energy here. So take advantage of it. And, you know, have a great week ahead, you guys. Take care. I'll see you back here another time. Bye.